Honest J. Nowak. Coming at you live. All right. A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to some more Honest Chain Nowak. I tell ya, Instagram was pretty much the last place I ever had this. So, I'm more than glad to oblige with this at least one last time. But I might have to get serious with long sleeve clothes. Because winter is on its way. Well anyways, let's go ahead and take it to another level with the subjects because today I'm going to be talking a bit about arcades. And I've talked a bit about arcade games before, but now I might as well go ahead and talk about those famous venues that are still around today. Because believe it or not, we actually do have a few survivors of all known amusement park venues in the world many amusement parks of all sorts, shopping centers, entertainment venues. I mean, we've had a lot of them growing up. I especially remember throughout the 90s and 2000s when such locations like Chuck E. Cheese's, Discovery Zone, and there were also a bunch of other localized areas, especially here in Wisconsin with places like Mineshaft, Flabbergast, and there's even a Dave & Buster's around here. But, unfortunately, with a lot of more recent events that have taken place over the years, many of which have shut down. But at least there are a few known survivors out there that we can at least agree on are indeed some pretty well-known locations. The best one, though, that I can really recall was a place known as Krieger's. And that's Kruger's with an E in the middle. So that's what differentiates the pronunciation. Well, anyways, Krieger's is primarily a bowling complex, but it also doubles itself as a bit of an arcade venue filled with all sorts of impressive things out there. You got yourself an arcade-style basketball hoop throwing contest. You got yourself some of those classic arcade-style shooting games and plenty of those other things out there that you might not know very well today, but back then they were some pretty revolutionary concepts. These were the kinds of arcade games that you could probably never find in most places. But by today's standards, a lot of our more famous console technologies are actually able to get a hold of these different arcade style gameplays and put them all together into console ports. But when you really think about it though, these are the kinds of places that you would regularly go to as a way to at least get yourself a mini vacation. Sometimes when you would not have the money to go down to places like Hawaii or Iceland. Much like what I would do. But in all senses of the worry, this is pretty much just how I would see it. But prepare yourself. Because I got nine more subjects and believe it or not, I might actually have to marathon through some of those again. So if you want to see more, go down to my channel then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side. 